This TikTok creator ate parasites for views on the internet. I feel like it's safe to say that we need a hall of fame for influencers who do stupid things for views more than ever. But this is Nick Kratka. From what I can tell, he's a fishing TikToker and not too long ago, he caught a wide mouth bass in Florida. And when filleting the fish, that's where this whole saga begins. Large mouth bass is a great first fish to fillet because they don't have round heads, so they're not gonna be wobbling all over the place. And realizing that he has tapeworm, so it's gonna be pretty tough to eat. I looked it up and apparently if you cook the fish thoroughly, the tapeworm shouldn't affect you, but I can't say that I'm not experiencing problems after I ate This it. is the filet I got. I seasoned it, threw it in the pan, and then presented it right next to the tapeworms, which is a mistake. Yo, low-key, like, the tapeworms add some flavor. They're pretty good. This might be TMI. It's been two days, and I have not stopped going to the bathroom. I'm kind of afraid that I literally have tapeworms in my stomach. I've never gone to the bathroom this much in my life. I'm mildly concerned. If you know anything about this in the comments, please let me know, because I am, I am kind of afraid that I have a parasite. Why would you ever do that to yourself? You flay the fish. You see the parasites are there, but you still eat it. I get that this isn't Darwinism, but this is how Darwinism happens. And I'm also pretty sure that tapeworms and parasites like that could leave you with lifelong injuries if you don't treat it right away. And meanwhile, this dude knew he ate parasites, he's having symptoms, and for some reason, he's not getting it checked out? My guy. Update on the tapeworms that I ate the other day. I went to the doctor and he said it is more than likely that I have tapeworms or some kind of parasite inside me. I'm going to the bathroom nonstop. My stomach is killing me. He prescribed me three different medications that are anti-parasitic. We've all seen that video of the bear that has like a 50 foot tapeworm coming out of his butt. And that literally could have been me if I didn't get to the doctor in time. <laughs> Wild idea. He could have seen the tapeworms and he could have just said, oh, this fish had tapeworms, so I had to throw it out because I don't want any of that. And guess what? The video would have probably not been that different. Or well, I guess you couldn't have made this entire content series of him being sick because he ate parasites. I mean, the amount of people that are putting themselves in danger on purpose just for the sake of TikTok content is rising at an alarming rate. Doctor didn't know what kind of worm it was, so he just like gave me all the different anti-parasitic things. Some of the worms cause seizure, muscle damage, and like you can lose your eyesight because the worms get in there. If there is any lesson you learned from this, it would be do not eat worms inside of a bath. Specifically, Florida lakes and ponds can be dangerous to eat out of because it's such a warm environment for these worms and parasites to grow. I am an idiot. I'm not gonna lie. This was, this was totally my fault. I was like, oh, it'll be a good video. I'll eat some tapeworms. But if you get sick for a while, you can't make content. Like clearly he's uploading, so he's fine, but definitely an interesting choice. Who does that? Who, why would I do that? And before you guys come at me in the comments, I looked it up and apparently if you cook the fillets thoroughly, the tapeworms won't get in you or any worm won't get in you. So another lesson is don't believe things you read on the internet either. Follow up appointment is in three days and if the symptoms get worse, I gotta go to the hospital. It should be okay. All right, so he left his audience on a cliffhanger and this is where his audience got really upset with him because this happened. Update on the tapeworm situation with Nick. 7.30 this morning, Nick passed away at the Kaiser Hospital. I was with him over the last 24 hours and he wanted me to inform you guys on the situation. Nick was on antiparasitic medication and unfortunately it was not working. The worm spread to his eyes and brain. Okay, clearly this is a prank, but now there's multiple things that could be going on. Is this all fake for clout? Like the whole situation that we just covered? Or is he simply making the best out of a stupid decision he decided to make? And then to follow up what I just said, is he currently too sick to actually make content so his brother is messing with his audience while he's hugging the toilet. Who knows? But either way, the people over on TikTok hated this video, so much so that his audience started turning on him. So to get the full context, let's watch the last part of this video. By the time we made it to the hospital, it was clear that Nick was not gonna be able to make it, and the medical team decided to give him pain medication until he passed away. Tomorrow Eternal Funeral Services is where we're gonna be hosting something for Nick at 10.30 a.m. on Saturday. It is gonna be an open casket, so this is something that you might not be able to deal with this is your heads up now. The address is right here on the screen. If there's one lesson we can learn from Nick, it is to not eat tapeworm. He really cared about you guys and he wanted you to know. Hopefully you guys could all remember him fondly and I'll be seeing you guys all the service. I apologize for the trauma I just gave you guys. I assure you I'm happy, I'm here, and I'm gonna be making content for a very long time. <laughs> Don't cancel me, Nick made me do it. The anti-parasitic medication did work, guys. I am feeling a lot better. I am editing this video right now and it is definitely the wildest publicity stunt I've ever done. I have officially faked my own. Okay, well, 
Uh, so apparently most people didn't actually watch the full video or they're just trolling because the entire comment section is just RIP, fly high, you will be missed. In my opinion, he didn't actually fake his death because in the same video, he made it clear that it was a joke. But that wasn't enough for the TikTok audience because he had to make another video. I've gotten thousands of comments about a recent post that I made and I need to talk about it. I'm really happy that you guys are holding me accountable for this because creators lying to their audiences is not cool, especially in the manner that I did. I was under the impression that because I was at the end of the video that it would wind up being taken as a lighthearted joke. I should have definitely seen that that was a super foolish take. It was just dumb. There's no other way to say it. it was really stupid on mine. Since the post was made, I've posted stories explaining that I am okay. I've also turned on comments and commented on all these posts myself so that people could see that it is not true. Obviously, there's more work that needs to be done on my end. I've been a full-time creator for like three and a half, four years now, and I should have seen that this was not okay. I also wanna bring up that Colty told me that this would be a very bad idea. I continuously assured him that this wouldn't be bad and I peer pressured him into making the video. I take full responsibility for it and Colty was really just trusting my judgment and being a good friend and taking my word when I told him to trust me. Being honest with you guys is a priority of mine and moving forward, I'm gonna keep this event in mind every time I make a video. I hope you guys are able to forgive me, but if not, I completely respect your decision. You guys are completely valid for your anger and I'm gonna take this very seriously. He also apologized in the description. So it seems like he's really, really trying to make up for this mistake. And also in the grand scheme of things, when you compare it to the stuff that I cover, this is pretty much a nothing burger. Like the only thing that made me want to cover it is how stupid are you for eating parasites for TikTok content? But my guess here is, is his audience is probably very young. And the thing about internet comments is you don't know who's behind that comment. So as long as the grammar and the spelling is correct, it's hard to tell who's commenting. So he might be getting spammed out by 12 to 14 year olds demanding an apology from him, but he doesn't even know that. It's never worth going to the ER for content in general, but especially don't eat tapeworms or any parasites for some TikTok content. The risk to reward ratio is just not there at all. I guess another takeaway is be careful eating fish that's caught in warm, fresh water. But it's not like this is the only time someone's consumed something incredibly stupid for either a TikTok challenge or just for attention on the platform. Because it's not like it was too many months ago, people were trying the first batch of the pink sauce for TikTok views. And then you had a few others like the dry scooping trend or one of the more alarming ones was like the dragon's breath challenge where like, I guess people were essentially eating liquid nitrogen candy to get like the smoke vapors coming out of their mouths just for a TikTok video. And naturally, 20 people were hospitalized over this due to skin burns, stomach pain, and food poisoning. But when it comes to non-edible stupidity, the worst thing I've seen this year is the two guys who stole a plane in Norway to prove to their friends that they could fly a plane. And they could not fly a plane. They crashed that thing and they filmed everything. And I'm just shocked every time I see that clip, but you can see the full video of that here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.